नाउ लेट एस डिस्कस अबाउट राइट एन एलगारिदम फॉर फेबनोसी सीक्वेंस यूजिंग रिकर्सिव एंड इटरेटिव अप्रोच इटरेटिव मीन्स नॉन रिकर्सिव अप्रोच and you analyze the performance of the algorithm by calculating time complexity and space complexity now let us focus on the iterative approach so here we have to find out here we have to write algorithm in iterative approach as well as recursive approach and we need to calculate the time complexity as well as space complexity so first let us write the algorithm using iterative approach so algorithm algorithm iterative approach so this is iterative approach iterative iterative so what we are doing we are finding the fibonacci sequence fibonacci so let us assume that this algorithm is accepting a parameter called n while writing the algorithm there is no need to declare the variables next to curly brace here the initial value of f1 is 0 so f1 equal to 0 every statement ends with semicolon next f2 is equal to 1 so 0 1 next we have to add the numbers like that next to display f1 and f2 so for displaying use write so write f1 comma f2 so we are displaying f1 and f2 uh, next to calculate f3 value f3 is equal to f1 plus f2 in da while for writing the algorithm we we use a pseudo code notations so colon equal to we have to use colon equal to for assignment purpose next while loop so while f3 is less than or equal to n let us write let us enclose within the curly parenthesis do do so print f3 so write f3 or use print write f3 next f1 equal to f2 next f2 equal to f3 next f3 equal to f1 plus f2 so this is the logic so already i shared this program in a c programming language i will share that logic that program logic in comments as well as description so if you have any pro if you have any doubts on the program based on this logic so just stay for that one as well as i will share that fibonacci program logic also i will share that link both the videos link in the description as well as comments so if you have any doubts on the logics just stay for that one okay so this is the algorithm for iterative sequence non recursive sequence so now we need to find the time complexity so for assignment statement the step count or frequency count is 1 so 1 1 next this is also assignment so one here instead of one we are printing two values so we can use two also there is no problem here this condition will be evaluated for how many times so actually here the body will be executed for n times whereas this condition that false condition will be checked for one more time so we can say that n plus one times so n for true conditions this one for false condition checking also okay next this body will be executed for n times so n n the body of the while loop will be executed for n times n okay so if we add all these values then 4n plus 1 n that is nothing but 5n plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 2 3 4 5 so 5n plus 5 while calculating the time complexity we have to consider only the higher order exponent n can be written as n power 1 this 5 means n power 0 so n power 1 this is higher order exponent and ignore the constant multiplier so ignore this 5 also so what is the time complexity order of n so in iterative approach what is the time complexity order of n is the time complexity now let us focus on the space complexity for iterative algorithm so here the formula is like this s of p equal to c plus sp so s means constant part constant part so constant part means it doesn't depends upon any other variables here what are the variables f1 f2 f1 f2 next we have f3 next n so these four variables are there 
here these four variables are not depending on any other variables so in order to store these four variables we require four memory words or we require four time units four time units so here this constant part is nothing but four now let us focus on the second one sp sp means variable part variable part sp this sp means variable part variable part means it depends upon other variables the best example is arrays if we have array then that array depends upon the size but here we don't have uh, any variable part variables any arrays so here sp value is 0 so what is the result here c plus sp what is c 4 plus sp is 0 so order of 4 4 is nothing but a constant number so here the space complexity if we use the iterative approach is order of 1 so 1 means constant comparison if here 4 means that constant number so order of 1 is the space complexity if you use as the iterative approach now let us focus on the second one so what is the second one recursive algorithm recursive algorithm so i will share this program link also in the description as well as first comment so if you have any doubts on the recursive program just refer that one okay here we are focusing on the algorithm so algorithm recursive underscore fibonacci of n if n is equal to 0 then return 0 then return 0 next here we are using is equal to operator here we are not writing the program this is algorithm in algorithm assignment operator means colon equal to or reverse reverse the arrow whereas this equality operator relational operator means single is equal to operator so if n is equal to 0 then we have to return 0 else if n is equal to 1 it is your choice if you want you can enclose this condition within the parenthesis also then if you want write within within the next line also return 1 so 0 1 next what is the formula else else fib of else return return what is the formula the sum of its previous two, two numbers so fib of n minus 1 plus fib of n minus 2 so in this way we can calculate okay this is the algorithm okay uh, now first let us focus on the space complexity uh, and then we will see the time complexity here space complexity here uh, first let us find out the space complexity here uh, if we call fib of 5 then what will happen is how fib of 5 is calculated how fib of 5 is calculated by calculating else written fib of 5 minus 1 means 4 so fib of 4 next fib of 5 minus 2 means fib of 3 so here what will happen is if we call fib of 5 then fib of 4 will be called if we call fib of 4 how we can calculate fib of 4 here fibrosis sequence means by adding the sum of its previous two terms so fib of 4 means fib of 3 plus fib of 2 so fib of 3 means fib of 2 fib of 1 fib of 2 means fib of 1 fib of 0 so here the maximum depth of the recursion maximum maximum depth of recursion is recursion here this is recursive approach is n n so totally we require if n value is 5 then maximum we require 5 function calls so 5 calls are required maximum depth is 5 okay so that's why here the space complexity of the recursive algorithm is order of n so why order of n why because if uh, fib of n is called then the maximum depth of the recursion is maximum depth of the recursion is this n 5 so that's why the space complexity is order of n now let us analyze about time complexity so here what is the formula fib of n minus 1 plus fib of n minus 2 okay let us uh, calculate the time complexity now here we are uh, calculating the time complexity by cali by drawing the recursion tree uh, recursion tree so let us uh, let, let us calculate the time complexity of the recursive algorithm 
by drawing the recursion tree. Let n value is 5. So, FIBA of 5. So, how FIBA of 5 is calculated? What is the formula? So, first condition is n is equal to 0. Return 0. Next condition, n is equal to 1. Return 1. If n is equal to 0, return 0. If n equal to, else if n equal to 1, return 1. Else, what is the formula? Else return FIBA of n minus 1 plus FIBA of n minus 2 by adding its previous two terms. So, 5 is equal to 0 false, 5 is equal to 1 false. So, else what is the block? Else return FIBA of 5 minus 1. 5 minus 1 means 4. Next to plus FIBA of n minus 2. So, 5 minus 2 means FIBA of 3. Next, next first two, two conditions are false. So, how to calculate FIBA of 4? FIBA of 4 minus 1 means 3. FIBA of 4 minus 2 means 2. Next, how to calculate FIBA of 3? 3 minus 1 means 2. 3 minus 2 means 1. Next, how to calculate FIBA of 3? FIBA of 3 minus 1 means 2. 3 minus 2 means 1. Next, how to calculate FIBA of 2? FIBA of 2 minus 1 means 1. FIBA of uh, 2 minus 2 means 0. Next, FIBA of 2. FIBA of 1. FIBA of 0. FIBA of 1, directly we will get the value. Next, how to calculate FIBA of 2? FIBA of 1, FIBA of 0. FIBA of 1, directly we will get the value. Here, directly we will get the value. So, now let us see how many function calls are needed, maximum. So, in the first iteration, one function call, FIBA of 5, one function call is needed. In the second iteration, 1 plus 1. So, this is one function call, this is another function call. So, two function calls are needed. In, the, in this level, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4 function calls are needed. In this level, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we may get 2 values. So, maximum 8 function calls are required. So, how we can write 1, <coughs> 2 power 0? How we can write 2, 2 power 1? How we can write 4, 2 power 2? Next to 2 power 3, next to 2 power 4. So, here what is the sequence? So, for space constraints, uh, I am erasing this portion. So, here what is the se sequence? 2 power 0 plus 2 power 1 plus 2 power 2 plus 2 power 3 so on 2 power n. So this is the series. First level 2 power 0, next level 2 power 1, next, next level 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4 like this. So, this. so here this series formula is sum of the nth term. This is nothing but geometric series. Geometric series. We know about the formula. Sn equal to a into r power n minus 1 by r minus 1. What is a value? What is a? a is nothing but initial term. So, in this example, what is initial term? 2 power 0. So, 1 is nothing but initial term. Next, what is r? r is nothing but common ratio. r is nothing but common ratio. If you see here, 2 power 1 by 1 is nothing but 2. If you observe this one, 4 by 2 means 2, 8 by 4 means 2. So, what is R value? R value is 2. So, here A into, what is A value? 1 into R, what is R? 2 power, 2 power N minus 1 by, what is R value? 2. So, 2 minus 1 means 2. So, that is nothing but what is the space complexity? I am sorry, what is the time complexity? Order of here, what is the, uh, what is the term we are getting? Order of 2 power N. So, here... For recursive algorithm, the time complexity is order of 2 power n. So, if you see here, for iterative algorithm, the time complexity is order of n, space complexity is order of n. Whereas, for recursive algorithm, the time complexity is order of 2 power n, whereas space complexity is order of n. That's it.